Hi guys, welcome to Bee's Speed Shop. So today we're back working on my mini project. So I've been looking for a full length panel to replace this whole side in one go rather than doing a load of little patches. So I was able to find one which goes from all the way from the front to the back. So I'm just waiting for that to be delivered and we can get started uh, replacing that floor section. Uh, but for now there's a couple of patches that I want to make and get ready so that when the floor pan goes in I can do them at the same time. So I'm going to start making those patches today. The first patch I'm going to start with today will fix this corner here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a piece of card to make a template. So it will have like a rectangular base here with a folded edge on the inside which will spot well to this edge. And then it will have a folded edge here with this edge being folded over as well which will then get spot welded to this face. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with a piece of card, uh, roughly cut it to shape to fit in here, and then from that I can transfer it to my metal, and then I can start bending up the edge for in here and bending up this side here, and then I have another plan for bending over this bit, which I will show you in a bit. So I've got my little patch cut out now, so obviously this is sticking up at the moment, but once that will sit in there it will be flush. So what I can do now is I can transfer this to my sheet of metal, add 20mm on this side and on this side, and then an extra 20mm on this side to create the edge on here. So I've got my little repair panel all marked out, and I've put a, a 20mm perimeter all the way around, so I'll cut out this very outside edge, and then what I have to do is um, along here, I have to put the bend in there, and then just cut that corner out, just so I can uh, fold that up. So I'll quickly get this cut out and then we can start bending it into shape. So I've got my little patch all cut out now. So what I need to do is I need to uh, roughly get this in place and mark it where I need to bend this side. So that's in place up against this edge. Uh, what I might have to do is cut a little bit out of this edge here just so I can get the bend in the right place. I'll quickly get that marked and get it bent and then we can have a look at it see how it fits. So I've marked out on my repair patch where I need to put the bend. So I'm going to have to put it in the vise this way because it won't fit the other way up. And then this top part, if I just get it loosely clamped in. So this top half needs to come this way. So that, that will be bent the right way to fit in that gap. So what I'll do is I'll get it lined up on my mark. And I will use one of the metal forming hammers. Just hammer it over this edge so it's a nice crease. And then... I, once I'm happy that that's all right, then I can start working on, um, so this edge needs to be folded over that way, and then this edge on the radius piece needs to be folded over the same way. So I'll quickly get this bent, and then I'll show you what my plan is to bend this radius piece. So I've bent up the edge on this little repair patch. I'm pretty happy with how that's come out. Obviously you've got to imagine it's going to go back uh, 20 mil yet, so the, um, the line here doesn't necessarily line up with this just yet. But obviously once I get the old piece, you see the weld along that edge there. So once I get this piece here cut out, I'll be able to uh, slide that back in another 20 mil and then hopefully that radius should be the same as this one. And now what I've got to do is uh, make my little blank so I can hammer this edge over so it will come over this edge. Also what I've got to do first is cut a little piece out of there so that this piece will come round. So this is my plan for folding over this rounded edge. So I've created two uh, wooden pucks or bucks whatever you want to call them. So I've put, um, so I copied the radius from this edge and both of the pieces fit in there and I've put um, a small radius just on this corner so hopefully when I uh, hammer it over, that piece of metal will uh, fit this shape here. So this particular idea um, I got from another YouTube channel uh, called Make It Custom. The uh, guy's name is Carl Fisher. So he does a lot of um, sort of metalworking pieces. He's also got a few project cars he's working on. It's quite interesting. I would suggest you go check it out. But this is one of the things that he did to create form edges like this. He used two uh, wooden pieces and then just hammer form it over this outside piece. 
So what I'll do is I'll give it a go now, help try and hammer over this edge and uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, it almost worked. I mean, it's got a good, it's only this top part which needs hammering over a little bit more. I think if I had some thicker wood, probably would have been better, would have been slightly stronger. But I'm not too fussed about this, I can fix this. We've got some uh, metal dollies, which are radiused, so I can just use one of them to finish hammering over this bit. I need to cut this section off here anyway. So hopefully that will make it easier for this piece to just go over. So I'll quickly see if I can get a cut down there and finish bending this part over. So I did have to make a few relief cuts just to finish off. Uh, don't worry about that top one because that will get cut off. But I mean the rest of them, they're all pretty snug. And I know that this wooden piece I made is accurate because it fits in the gap. I'll show you. So I'm quite happy with how that fits. So obviously now I've just got to bend that bottom edge. Quickly show you the wooden piece. Fits right in there. So I know it's pretty, well, as close as it's gonna be. But obviously, I need quite, when I put this piece in here, I can finish hammering that edge anyway, do all the welds, and then I can just trim this back because it only needs to be about 10 mil wide and it's about probably 20 mil at the moment. So there's a bit to cut off, but I'm quite happy with how that all fits in there. So now I just need to bend this lower edge so I'll quickly do that, and then that's that panel pretty much done. So I've got this little repair patch pretty much finished now. So I've bent this edge over and I'm happy with the way it fits. So I am gonna to have to cut um, sort of down this line. I don't know if you can see the line very well. I'm gonna to have to cut down this line and cut this section here off. And I think I might have to just cut a little bit from here, probably not much, about 10 mil bit from in there and cut that piece out so it will then slide in there. I'm pretty happy with how that's come out today. So where it's rusted through the floor just there, it's rusted into the cross member piece as well. So I need to make a little patch to go in there and fix that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the passenger side because this is all original. 
looks all solid. So I'm gonna use this area to make make um, a pattern, which I can then uh, draw onto my piece of metal, cut it out. Obviously, it'll be I can draw it this way, but I don't have to flip it round so it's mirrored. So then it will fit on the driver's side. So I'll quickly get a piece of paper, and then I can make a pattern for this lower section. So I've quickly transferred my uh, drawing to a piece of card, and then I uh, measured how far the distance was and drew a straight line, so I know that that's so this line and this line are parallel. I've just made myself a little note to make sure I add 10 mil onto these faces for the uh, that little flange lip that got a spot weld to. So what I'll do now is I'll um, get my piece of sheet metal out again, draw around this, add on the 10 mil there and there, and then I can cut it out, bend up the tabs, and that's another patch made. So I've got my little repair patch marked out my metal now, so it's ready to cut out. Uh, what I've done is I made these sections a little bit bigger, just to allow, because um, I'm going to try and bend in a radius in this corner. So what I'll do is I'll use my piece of box tube I got again, because it's got the same radius as what this needs. So what I can do is uh, clamp it in the vise and then hammer this over the piece of box section and it should give me the right corner radius. So I've got my repair patch set up with my box tube now. So now I can hammer it over the box tube and try and recreate this radius in my repair patch. You see there, made a pretty good radius. So obviously when it would be in the car it would be that way around. So now I just need to do this lower section. And then we can give it a test fit. So what I've done, this line, I tried to get the bottom of the line in line with the very edge of the radius. You can just see from where I am on this uh, box tube. There's a slight crease line where the very edge of the radius is. So I've tried to line up the line on that. So now that it's lined up, it's all tight. And I just got to hammer this over and I'll have the radi radius. So the radius is really good, I've just got to hammer this edge over a little bit more, it's not quite 90 degrees, so I'm just going to very carefully go along the far edge, just to make sure it's bent all the way over at 90 degrees. So I'm just going to quickly test my uh, little repair patch I made, just to make sure it does sit in in the right place. Hopefully I've got the angle right. I think this is a little bit long, I need to cut this down a little bit. Probably not much, 5mm or so I reckon. And hopefully that will slide into there. And then what I can do is I can use this edge Scribe a line along here and down this side. Then I can cut this rusty section out, weld in that new section, and then that's done. So I've cut a section off of this end here. It's not quite enough, it's not quite going all the way down. I'm hoping that by the time I get this section here cut out and this bit here cut out when the new floor is in, that should sit flush on the floor. So obviously I've got to trim the length of these bits back a little bit, but that doesn't bother me too much. So 
So I'm pretty happy with how this panel came out. I know it's only a simple little panel. What I'll do is I might just uh, trim this top edge a little bit off. So it sits in there nicely. Obviously I've got a I'm not quite sure what that hole's for, if I need it or not. If I need it, I can just trim this piece. But I'm pretty happy with that little panel. I'm happy I was able to get those little uh, panels made today. So I'm not going to be welding them in just yet. I'm going to wait for my uh, floor section to arrive. So I can at least get that in place and tacked in. And then I can tack in a few other small repair panels as well. So hopefully that will be here for next weekend so I can keep going on this project. That's going to be it for today, so thanks for watching this video.